California Kling. Hey everybody, it's Lauren Kling here. Back in the early 2000s, before I did voiceover and before I did hosting, I did stand-up comedy here in L.A. for just over three years. So, this is uh, my first time up on stage. Hope you enjoy it. This first comic uh, is actually returning to the stage. The last time he performed was at his own bar mitzvah so many years ago. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Lauren Kling. somebody new. Uh, sometimes people will just kind of, you know, come up to me and, and say, hey, how's it going? And, and they'll just stare at me, trying to figure out which eye is the lazy eye. You want to take a guess? Time's up, sorry. This one. This one. Sometimes people will, uh, Sometimes people just smile at me when they meet me, but they'll keep looking back. They'll say, hey, Lauren, so, uh, yeah, so you have a girl's name. And, uh, what the fuck are you looking at? No wonder I couldn't get a date. So, uh, sometimes uh, somebody will just come up to me and say, dude, what the fuck's wrong with your eye? Why do you have a girl's name? Fatty. So, uh, yeah. You, uh, let me recap uh, my, the highlights of my life so far. I have a girl's name. Um, I have a lazy eye. I'm bald. Um, a, I have cats, and I don't have a job. 
Sorry, ladies, I know you'd love a piece of this uh, lazy eye pie, but I'm married to a patient and very tolerable girl. <laughs> but uh, I do love her. She's actually the breadwinner of the family. I don't have a job, and she's a makeup artist, so she's the one supporting the family. And uh, that's right. Uh, you know what, I love her to pieces, but does she have to tell me every fucking thing that goes on in her job every day? I mean, I know about more about makeup than any sane straight guy should know. For example, did you know that before you apply your makeup, you should start with a good moisturizer? And then you want to go to a uh, primer, foundation, uh, concealer, and then the powder. Now, you don't want to forget the powder because that's what sets your makeup. And you totally don't want your makeup like falling off and shit. I mean, come on, dude, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, and she's always bringing home like lots of free makeup swag, you know. And it, it means nothing to me, but she loves showing me things. And I swear, I swear she's trying to get me to wear makeup like she wants me to be her test subject. Like she's like, I know how to get rid of that lazy eye. Let me just use like an eyeliner pencil and fake eyelashes. Oh, come on. Nobody will ever know. But I think she's fucking with me. I'm not sure about that. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, what am I going to do with a house full of, like, makeup? Although... She has this exfoliating cream that's, oh my god, it's so awesome, like, but the thing is, you have to know, you have to go in a circular motion, not side to side or up and down, it really opens up the pores. So, uh, yeah. So, you look like you exfoliate, you have a nice warm glow. I'm sorry, I was talking to him. It was the lazy eye. Right? Sorry about that. Nice job, guy. So, uh, yeah, I know a few things about uh, makeup, so what are you gonna do? Uh, so, I, as I said, I'm not working right now. I'm trying to better myself. Uh, some friends have suggested I check out a book called The Secret. Anybody know what The Secret is? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. No. I don't know what the fuck The Secret is. I guess it's some kind of self-help bullshit. Or, I don't know. So I was at Costco the other day, and I was um, in the DV DVD section. I was checking out a DVD box set of Manimal. It's that 70s TV show about a half-man, half-manimal. And uh, I noticed this DVD, and it said The Secret. The Secret is... Is this what they were talking about? And I'm just about to pick it up when I notice this woman come running down the lane, just barreling down and going, Oh my God, it's the secret. It's on DVD. I have to have it, the last one. She fucking cock blocked me and grabbed the DVD and started running at Costco. So I did what any sane guy would do when it's the last of anything. I wrestled the bitch to the ground. So we're throwing punches, throwing kung fu moves. But you know what? I fooled her with my lazy eye. Hey, lady, three bean salad's on sale over there. Huh? So he didn't look for a second. I grabbed the DVD and I ran right out of there. It was great. Now, after the show, I don't want anybody to actually tell me anything about The Secret. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I'm trying to get over something called procrastination. So as soon as I get through that, I swear, I swear I'm going to go to that DVD. So what are you going to do? Thank you. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, I live in West Hollywood with my wife, and it's a really great neighborhood. We just uh, moved up from San Diego. And, um, you know, it's, it's a beautiful area. Nice, quiet, tree-lined streets. Uh, you know, people walking their dogs. And uh, everything's great except for the fucking car alarms going off day and night. And it's not just West Hollywood. It's all over the place. And the problem is, is nobody cares. Every car alarm sounds the same. But I came up with the most awesomest idea ever. Car alarm ringtones. <laughs> Soak that in. I'm waiting. That's right, car alarm ringtones. And I'm not talking about like your standard, um, you know, uh, your standard car alarm ringtones like those waltzes that your parents would have on their cars. I'm talking about, I'm talking about a car alarm ringtone that sets you apart that says, yeah, I got game. Right on. So, like, my wife, she would totally have Fergie on her car alarm. <laughs> I'm the one that's up here that's got to sing Fergie down. So. so her car alarm, her car alarm would be like, Fergalicious definition, make them boys go local. <laughs> oh, 
Boy, I wish I could go now. Thank you. My hump, my hump, my lady lump. My car, my car, shit, my car would be, I'd be all old school and shit, like some ludicrous. Boom, boom, psh, a boom, boom, psh. Get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way, get out the way, bitch. Boom, boom, psh, boom. Of course, living in West Hollywood, of course, you know, every car alarm's gonna sound like, do you believe in love after love? <laughs> comes when you see like 50 gay guys and three fag hacks come running out in the street and start dancing like it's a fucking Rogers and Hammerstein show. That's my time, I'm Lord, thank you.